Hey, it's Rob, and welcome to Axel's Garage. We have the big dummy behind the camera. Actually, the camera's on a tripod, he's standing behind it. And he's checking out our new mic that we did a video on, and I'll link it up here. And hopefully, this is a, the first outside video, and it's pretty breezy today, so we'll see if the new mic and the windsock and everything are actually doing the job they're supposed to do. Anyway, in a previous video, when we were putting the grill together on this, we tried um, LED lights and we had a little trouble. So the headlights, these small rectangular headlights are not available in LEDs that are DOT certified. So we went with the brightest Sylvania halogen bulbs we can get. And then we have right here, which is in the parking lights, we have a just a, a, usually an amber marker and an amber directional. And we changed out this amber marker to a white LED marker and it kind of gives it a neat look to it and in this spot here we put an amber led and we could not get the amber led to flash when the lights were on so it would it would uh it would stay on but then if you you did the directional it would work but then if you put your headlights on and tried to uh do it it wouldn't work and we did replace the flasher with an electronic flasher so there was two things that I was thinking. It's got to work, number one, because people are doing them. And we have had this trouble in other GM vehicles that have that similar setup where when your headlights are off, this light and the side marker flash at the same time. And then when the headlights are on, they flash opposite each other. And I think that could be the issue um, as far as why things don't work the way they're supposed to. So we thought we'd try a different LED bulb. We ordered a, another set of LED bulbs for a different project. And because we had them, I said, you know what, let me try them and see if these LED bulbs that are supposed to be a little bit better work. And we also ordered a different flasher. We did a little research on the flashers. And we ordered this, um, this one here that is, uh, it's polarity. A lot of these flashers, they're uh, polarity specific, meaning your, uh, your line in and your load or whichever it's called um, has to be a certain way and that's why some of them come with a, an additional base like the original ones that we had on this one came with a base and that base actually switches the polarity. These are polarity neutral so they can go in in any circumstance. I'll link it in the description below. It's a uh, CEC is the brand and it is the EF32RL. No, it is the EF32RLNP, and I think the NP stands for non-polarity. So, we got two things to try. We're going to try the bulb first, and then we're going to try the, uh, the new flasher with the bulb and see if we can get any positive result out of it. And it is really windy. Um, we got the windsock on the new mic, and hopefully it's shielding the wind. See which ones we got here. Alright, so we got another brand of bulb in and they look good like this. So we got an LED in this market spot as a daytime running light that doesn't flash or anything, so that's that's not a concern that works. It's these here and how they blink. So Robbie, turn your ignition on and let's blink that side. So driver's side, okay, now passenger side. It just doesn't seem like that one's blinking as much as it should be. Maybe it's me, I don't know. Robbie, you, you take a look. All right, now, start the car up. That proves our theory that something's going on on that side. So, it seems to be working fine here. And then we go to this side, and I think I see it dim. And you're not sure if it's dim. It could be the way the sun's hitting it, the angle, whatever. 
But then when we start the car up, we have a problem here, not a problem over there. This side doesn't blink at all when the car is running. So I already tried swapping the bulbs from side to side, so it's not the bulb. It's either the pigtail is messed up, which could be. Could be a bad pigtail. But let's swap in a flasher and see if that helps us at all. So let's try this other flasher here and see if that changes anything. All right, so here we are back with the 3157 bulbs. Back in for the ambers. We got our LEDs that are here that don't flash. And we went and we changed, we swapped out the flasher from the one that the ones that came in the kit with the rear LED taillights, we swapped it out with a LED flasher that's supposed to be the uh, polarity neutral or either polarity, it doesn't matter. We put that in, made no change. But as I was walking around the truck, what I noticed was when he was uh, putting the directional one way or the other, the taillights had stopped flashing. Even when the one up here was flashing, the taillight wasn't flashing. So we swapped the bulbs around, we swapped another set of bulbs that worked up front. It actually worked on this one, but when we started the car it wouldn't work. And then I went to the back and looked in the back and, and nothing was working back there. So I unplugged the two bolts from up here and still we had nothing back there. Plugged it back in the incandescent 3157 bulbs up here and the taillights started working and these started working again. So we know what our problem is. It's the flash. So we were seeing something. What we were seeing over here was something that it was dim. We weren't sure, but now we know for sure it was dimmer than the other side because our problem is going to be that flasher in the in the back. Now it's supposed to be an LED flasher. We're going to have to do a little research, maybe find a, a different type of flasher or some other flasher because that's definitely our problem. These LED flashes are not seeing enough load to actually do what they're supposed to do. So they're not even flashing the backlights. So it wasn't, you know, a problem that we were just having up here. We created a problem in the back by putting those bulbs in as well. So we're back to our regular bulbs and we're going to do some research and hopefully soon we can update you with, uh, with a proper LED flasher that, that will actually do what it's supposed to do because these LED flashes, they're working for the taillights, which is where we have the LEDs. They're not working for all LEDs. So we're going to have to do a little bit more research, get a, a flasher that's that's right and doesn't need any any load like that. I don't want to start putting resistors in to show a load because that kind of defeats the purpose of the whole um, LED bulb, especially in the front. It's really not the brightness of the, the bulb or anything. So that's it today. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching.